Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you all for watching. I'm back with the promised gastritis update. Before we jump into today's video, to anyone who's new here, I have an entire playlist with videos about my gastritis struggles. And I highly recommend watching them because you might have several questions that are very likely already answered in my previous videos. And now let's jump right into today's update. So just a quick summary of the past two years plus something. So I've been diagnosed with chronic gastritis. Why I went to the hospital and what were the initial symptoms. More about that in my video about my liver tumor, which is linked in the video description and also here in the right corner. So anyway, I got the chronic gastritis diagnosis two months later. I immediately went on a gastritis diet and for the first three months, after I got the diagnose, I've been taking medicine, I have been taking Pantolog, and after three months I went off the medicine. I started drinking in the morning marshmallow root tea, which is a tea that has kind of an oily texture, and that helps to protect the stomach lining. I mean, it's not medicine, it's just an herb, so it's for sure not perfect and it will probably not work for everybody but it worked well for me it's been recommended to me by a lady in our local pharmacy that being said if you consider trying this tea i would certainly discuss your doctor first because especially if you're taking any medicine that might interact with the herb or you might be allergic it's always better to be careful about that so that's been the beginning after about i say like seven or eight months if I remember correctly, after having the initial diagnosed chronic gastritis, I started feeling much better and I could eat normally and everything was fine for the time being. Well, and then last summer happened. Let me tell you, it's been a shit show ever since. I started having these horrible, horrible flare-ups. One of the flare-up lasted three weeks, which left me absolutely tired. I've been exhausted. But the worst part was I you know, was sticking to the gastritis diet and nothing was working for three months. I've been drinking my marshmallow root tea, I've been eating only the dishes that were on the list, I've been occasionally taking these capsules that reduce stomach acid, and I've been drinking only herbal teas or water, nothing was working. After three weeks it finally went away. Around the same time our husky shadow started being regularly sick, he had dermatitis, he had a weak liver ever since we adopted him from the shelter. We knew that. We've been trying to do our best, but at some point age caught with him. And obviously weak liver is not necessarily helping with the aging. So I have to admit, I was not focusing so much on myself and on my health because he's been my priority. I loved him so much and I still missed him so terribly. It still hurts to think that he's no longer with us. But anyway, these flare ups, came occasionally, usually every few weeks, and I would say around the beginning of October I've been so fucking tired of constantly being in pain, and since obviously nothing from the diet was working, I thought like, what else am I gonna do? So maybe I can't eat plant-based diet, even though I know that it should be possible, but I thought, you know what, let me at least try something. So I would eat my oats in the morning, then I would have eggs for lunch and eggs for dinner. Three days later I've been feeling much better and I was like this is not right because eggs are no medicine, there are no magical cure, there is something else behind my symptoms. Maybe it's not gastritis, maybe it's something else, but again since Shadow kept being sick I felt like time flew so fast and it went so slow at the same time, but I've been just literally neglecting myself. So whenever I would get a flare up, I would just eat eggs for lunch and dinner for the next three days and everything would be okay again. And I was fine with that because all I wanted was that my dog would feel better and I just didn't have the headspace, you know, to heal myself, to take care of myself. And then unfortunately in February, Shadow passed away and then we adopted our little rascal, Aegon, who is a wonderful pupper, but the beginning was really hard. I mean, two years old husky or about two years old, never trained. It's been also a shit show. I've been so exhausted mentally and physically for the first few weeks, but now he's a wonderful dog. He's been trained quite a lot. I'm working with him so much and 
he's just super sweet. He helped us to heal our broken hearts. And even though we still miss Shadow, we are so happy that he's in our lives. So anyway, now things calmed down and I was like, okay, Laura, drag your ass to the doctor finally and find out what's behind these flare-ups because it's clearly not gastritis. So what do you guess? I've got SIBO. Now, as annoyed as I am knowing that I have SIBO, I'm also relieved at the same time because it at least explains why the gastritis diet wasn't working anymore. So it looks to me as though I got really rid of my gastritis, but for whatever reason, maybe because of gastritis or maybe because of some other reason, I developed SIBO and the symptoms that I have been having, which I thought were gastritis flare-ups, were actually SIBO flare-ups. And that's why nothing I ate really helped. It didn't give me any relief because I was supposed to go on a different diet and that also explains why I felt better when I ate eggs, for example. So with SIBO, you're supposed to go on a low FODMAP diet. And because I always forget what it means, I have here my phone. So FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides and polyols. And the low FODMAP diet is clearly low in all these things. So basically in fermentable sugars. I had the SIBO test done here locally in Vienna in one of the laboratories that do normal blood scan and whatnot. So it's a breath test. The day before I was allowed to eat only certain things. So I've been actually eating only white rice and zucchini and I've been drinking water. I also got a sunstroke that day. So I basically puked everything out the very same evening. And the next day I was not allowed to eat anything, I was allowed to drink only water. I've been outside for one and a half hours with our husky and I w then I went to the laboratory super starved, still tired. I felt like I was hung over because of the headache from the sunstroke. So it was not a pleasant day, but the test itself is actually very easy. I had to breathe into some kind of a tube and they measured the levels of methane and hydrogen, I believe. Uh, especially methane is something people normally don't have in their intestines. It's something that only bacteria emits and it was positive. Then they gave me a, I think it was glucose solution to drink and 15 minutes later they measured the values again and they did it each 15 minutes for the first hour and then every 30 minutes for the second hour and then I was finally allowed to go home. On my way home I stopped at Swing Kitchen which is a vegan burger place and I stuffed my mouth with vegan nuggets. I even drank coke because I needed some sugar in my bloodstream and I felt much much better. I got immediately the result or I mean not really like the lady who looked at, at the values told me well it looks like you have SIBO but you get the final result tomorrow that will confirm it and that happened so the next day I got the confirmation officially that I have SIBO. So obviously now I have to go on a low FODMAP diet. I still have to read into this but I have some general idea because I've been looking at a few pages online and I watched a few videos from different people. I've been also considering uh, getting help from Gojiman. If you don't know him, he's here on YouTube. He has some really valuable videos about not only SIBO, but about nutrition in general. So I can link his channel down below. I have already sent him a mail with my results and he asked me to book an online uh, consultation. I will do that right after I come back from Croatia because I'm leaving soon with my dad. And when I'll be back, then I will book the online consultation, we'll discuss everything and I'll see if I can work this through with the low FODMAP diet myself or if I will need any help. So that's the status right now. Right now, even though I don't have a full meal plan yet, I'm following certain rules. I found a lot of information on the internet. There are so many lists out there that tell you which foods are okay with SIBO and which should be avoided. So I'm sticking to this so far and I have to say I feel much, much better. One thing I'm having a hard time with uh, though are sugars because I love chocolates and I know I should uh, reduce sugar, but sometimes it's really hard to resist. So again, when I come back from Croatia, I'm just gonna take this way more seriously. And at least for four to six weeks, I'm gonna go on a strict low FODMAP diet and hopefully this will be the end of my struggles. One more thing, I also recently had a test done 
that should tell me whether I have some food allergies or intolerances or whatnot. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't get a proper meal plan yet because I am waiting for the results and as soon as I have these results plus knowing that I have SIBO I can work from there and get the right diet so that I can get better once and for all because yeah again it's super annoying and I want to get rid of all these digestive issues because this is something I just don't want to deal with ever again. Now I know I have not been really active lately on this channel so I know there are so many comments that I haven't been answered yet so in the next like let's say one or two weeks I will try to answer as many of them as possible and should some of them be still left when I'll be back from Croatia I thought I could sit down and answer them in a video so read a few of your comments so if there's something you want to ask about my gastritis you can write a comment to this video and I might even include it in my future video. But that's gonna be it for today. As soon as I can I'll film another what I eat in a day video so I will show you what I'm eating right now knowing that I have SIBO and as soon as I will have the result uh, of the allergy and intolerances test I will also sit down and tell you all about it. So that's gonna be it for today. I miss you guys. It's so good to be back. And for those of you who are still struggling with gastritis, my heart definitely goes to every single one of you. I pray that you all will heal as soon as possible. I want you to be healthy and thriving. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. God bless you and see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.